There's this BuzzFeed article where they used AI to see what Barbie's dream house would look like in each state based on the vibes and the architectural styles there. And this is like all of my interests colliding, okay? Barbie, I play a virtual doll game every day. And houses, what do I do in that virtual doll game? I build houses. So when I first saw this article, it obviously really excited me. And I've been staring at this, obsessing over each of the houses for days now. I'm gonna link this down below if you wanna go through and look at all of them, but they've really made a house for every single one of the states. and they're they're all very different and kind of cool. So I was thinking that we could look through this and maybe decide on one that we want to try to build in The Sims and recreate it. Look at the pink trees in this one. I also love how this one looks. I will take any excuse to build something aggressively pink in The Sims. I don't really love the Florida one, but it does feel right, especially the car parked in the bushes, like hitting the house. There's something about that that really does feel Florida. The Georgia one is amazing and we could definitely make this in the Sims. The Hawaii one looks very Barbie dream house, like the dollhouse to me. There's something about Indiana that's kind of scary. I think it's the scale of the corn. I don't know. I shouldn't laugh about Kansas. It's not fair. AI is weird. It's kind of scary. Like why the guitar is so big. I really like this Massachusetts one as well, but I think I'm kind of leaning towards Georgia for the one that we should build. Mississippi also has very beautiful vibes. And Missouri, this one is amazing. So this is the Georgia one again. And then this is North Carolina, which is kind of similar but not quite as dramatically fancy. This one's cute, but kind of simple, so I might not do that. And I love this one, but I've built this style of house so many times that I feel like we should probably pick one of these two. And honestly, I'm leaning towards Georgia. I just like how big it is. It feels very Barbie. I feel like it's also quite similar to the big 50 by 50 lot Oakenstead in the base game. So what if I just bulldoze this and turned it Barbie? Speaking of which, Barbie, if you want to sponsor me, I would really appreciate that. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. Big fan. I want to try to recreate the design from that picture exactly. Now obviously there's gonna have to be some wiggle room here because this is The Sims and that is a fake house designed by a computer. It's just not gonna be possible to make it exact so we're gonna have to try and make it look as good as we can with what we have to work with. First of all, the Strangerville doors and windows are gonna be perfect for this. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel like the arch with this fancy design at the top looks just like the picture. And I think in the picture, it's maybe more of a gray color, but I feel like the blue will work. I think the house goes back one like this because I think it just has the one window on either side. Does that seem right to you with the porch like that? Maybe it's even further in and the porches don't actually connect. There's also a really fancy freeze up here and then the roof comes out towards the front. Not that tall, <laughs> little bit shorter actually. And then there's kind of a simple hipped roof back here, I think. Okay. That can work. We want to do a lot of like really fancy decorations. I feel like this pretty Strangerville spandrel with the floral accents is probably good for this. And then maybe I could try to put something like this here. I'm gonna hate this because freezes are so glitchy in this game, but there's just so much fancy stuff going on here that I'm trying to mimic. I also didn't really think about this, but there's two columns and we can't do that. Well, we can do that, but like I can't really do it the way that they do because I can't put them as close together. So if I tried to have all the columns, they would be this far apart and then the whole place is just only columns. So maybe I should just do the one. It's not as fancy as the other building that way, but does it still look nice? The picture has pink stairs. We do have pink stairs, but they're kind of scary. It also has these weird curved stairs that are kind of like glitched a little bit on the sides. It's AI, so it's not very good, but I might just put staircases on the side and not do the rounded thing, because we obviously can't. Wow, okay. <laughs> do you think there's enough columns on this building? I think it might need some more. It's got kind of a fancy fence too. I just don't know which one to use. I do like this vampires one. I feel like that fits the vibes pretty well. Let me finish getting these windows added. And then this is kind of weird, but up here they have almost like a mini tiny balcony. Maybe I could do that with a decor piece instead because we do have something similar to that. Something like this even. Oh wait, maybe this university one could work. Oh, I like that better. And there's like some sort of arched window or something up there. That seems similar enough. You can tell what I'm going for. I wish we had some fancier roof trim because I want to have some fancy decorations up here, but we just don't really have that. And now for the fun part, let's get this house painted pink. I think even the foundation should be pink on this. Problem is, should it be plain pink or should it have the paneling? Because I think the paneling's a little bit busy looking because it is paneling in the picture. It's just 
not as harsh of a line, I think. Sometimes when I'm not sure about things, I want to just sit on them for a little bit and like think about it longer because I'm really not certain about what we should do with the paint. So I might just leave it and think about it for a bit and then come back. Sometimes it helps to just let it soak in. In hindsight, this is not that big of a house. It does not need to be on this giant lot. Maybe I'll move it. Yeah, 40 by 30 fits this a lot better. And this is still a fancy area, so this will work. The picture is not really going to give us much else. So we might have to take matters into our own hands from here. And I kind of like the idea of getting a pretty fence in the front. This one has pink, but I don't like that it's got so much plant on it. I like how it's got sort of a formal fancy entryway like this. In the picture, there's like no landscaping. I always have this problem with trying to recreate things from real life or from drawings because what looks good in the art does not look good in The Sims. I can't just build this and then put no plants. Like that's horrible. So we're gonna have to come up with some of our own ideas. And I sort of like the thought of having maybe some fancy fencing down here. These bushes are so uniform. They kind of scream Barbie Dreamhouse actually. So we could probably use those to line part of it. Oh no, this does not fit as well as I thought it was going to. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. What if I raise these up? Does that look okay? Oh, I think that's nice. Maybe if I scooted it back more so it was a little bit wider. I can't tell if that's ugly or not. I don't think it's ugly. I think it's okay. Oh, I didn't paint the roof yet. I feel like in the picture, the roof is kind of a bluish gray. So maybe I'll use this color because that matches the shutters as well. I'm pretty sure that this is like a tile or a brick or something. This kind of leans pink when you think about it. So maybe I'll use this one. Also, that is a palm tree. So I'm gonna add a palm tree onto this build. In fact, it looks just like this palm tree. So maybe I'll use that. What if I tried to line this up on purpose? I could get a palm tree on either side. Oh, that is ugly, huh? For some reason, there's no pink wood floors either, which is stupid. I can't imagine why not. Is there even a pink chimney? No, this doesn't count. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. I guess I can just do plain white instead. Is that even in the same spot on both sides? Yeah, it is, okay. They have three, but I don't wanna have three chimneys. Can I just not do that? It looks like they have these little topiary things on either side of the door and by the windows. I never use this item. I should probably use it more often. I think there's rocking chairs on each of these mini porches and I'm pretty sure there's porch swings right here on this porch. We just don't have that. So instead of a porch swing, I might just put a bench or something. In real life, this bench would be like hanging from the ceiling so you could swing on it, but we'll just do regular ones for now. I can't really see what's on the second floor, but I can see at least one bench. So maybe I'll just mimic what we have down here. I would love to have a porch swing. That would be so cool in real life, but also in The Sims, because that would be kind of fun. I think I'll put a little pink doormat as well. They've kind of got like fancy something going on in the front, so I might put some of these topiaries. Is that so weird? Maybe it is. I don't mind though. I do need to put a mailbox. I just don't really know which one. Does the wall mailbox fit anywhere? Can I put it over here? No, I'll just use this one. It kind of matches the shutters. So that might work. Oh no. And I just realized I've been so focused on the front that I didn't even touch the back yet. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of work to do back there. Okay, I think that this is the best I can do from the front of the building. And I must say, it does look a lot like the picture. I mean, come on, picture, Sims house. Picture, Sims house. I wanna add some terrain paint and some other finishing touches and stuff, but I think first I should go back and, well, literally go back and finish the back of the house. Even finish isn't the right word because I didn't start. <laughs> so we need to do something back here. I think I'll just make it the same or at least very similar to the front because I want to have a big porch back here and stuff. Everything about this house is very symmetrical anyway. So I think it makes sense to just do the same thing back here. Although I might have the sides be a tiny bit different. I copied over all the columns and spandrels. So I'm putting the fence in now. I think the difference being that on the back of the house, I might try and put quite a few staircases. So I'll put one here. I'll get one in the front and then maybe another on this side over here. I might turn this area next to the stairs into a bit of landscaping. And then perhaps this whole area could be a spot for a pool. I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm kind of just winging it a little bit. Barbie would definitely have a big pool in her backyard though. Annoyingly, I can't put the pool how I want it to be. So maybe I'll just have the staircase on the side. I feel like that looks a little bit better. Barbie would definitely have a giant pool in her backyard though. And then we can get some pretty lounge chairs. 
Maybe I'll just pave this whole backspace. Placing these little tiny bushes is so tedious because there's so many of them. I'm gonna use those same flowers from the front in this little section in the backyard too. Okay, perfect. I think the rocking chairs are a perfect touch for the second floor up here. I might also get a ceiling fan on the porch. You can't see one of these in the picture, but speaking from experience, it would be nice to have. Oh my God, this is perfect. The Desert Luxe Kit lounge chair has a pink swatch. I'm gonna put loads of these. I feel like Barbie would have plenty of lounge chairs so her friends can come over. Annoyingly, none of these umbrellas come in pink, so I think I can't use one. This table comes in pink. Maybe I'll put an actual table on either side then. I don't know, should I put a kitchen out here? I feel like part of me wants it to be symmetrical and then part of me wants to have like a bar. Okay, actually I think the bar is nicer. It's so cool to have a fancy outdoor bar like this. We can get some pretty pink stools by it. They can grill things out here. How ridiculous would it be if I were to make the pool pink? Cause I realize this is maybe a little bit excessive, but it's a, it's a Barbie house. So if I'm gonna do it, this is the time. Before I forget, I have to get windows on the side of the house too, cause I haven't done that yet. And now I have to figure out some sort of floor plan. And I think that this might be a little bit difficult. Should I dare to use these pink stairs inside? I know this is kind of ridiculous, okay? But they're also kind of fun. Okay, this is kind of weird, but here's what I'm thinking for the floor plan. I feel like you should come into the house into like a formal living room, sitting room area. So we can have like a fireplace, maybe a pretty chair or two in here, kind of like a reception room or something. The staircase is in here and it's also where I have the door into the bathroom. And then this giant square room here will be the bathroom so I can get some pretty tile. I might actually use a different tile. This one is kind of Barbie. And then this area is kind of one big kitchen living dining room. So I was picturing we'd have the kitchen along this wall. So I might put the cabinets back here, kind of in this corner. What is that? Why is it doing that? Oh, oh, it wasn't against the wall, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay, well I'd put the kitchen back here, kind of in this corner. This little tiny room would become an office because there's not much else that we could put in there. So I might have a desk right in the middle, a pretty chair, something like that. And then over here on this left side, up against this big giant wall, I thought we could have a TV room area. So we'd get like maybe a big rug, a giant TV because it's Barbie and she's got money. And then that leaves us with this space kind of in the middle where I thought I'd put the dining room. Obviously this is all sort of filler furniture. I'm not actually furnishing it with these particular items, but <laughs> this is kind of what I was thinking for the layout. Upstairs, I have literally not a clue what I want to do with this, so give me a second. This is kind of weird, but listen, so the staircase comes up here, right? Maybe this can be Barbie's bedroom, because then she's got a private balcony, and then we can have a closet and a bathroom for her. And I think it makes sense to have them be attached like this, like you walk through the closet to get into the bathroom. What is that? Why is that happening? What are you doing? Oh my God, I tried to tell you, freezes in this game are a nightmare. Okay, I think it's fine. And then maybe there could be some sort of open to the downstairs situation right here. It's not very big. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but this might work. What if Barbie has a closet and a huge bathroom and this just entire space is the bathroom? That might be a little bit much. <laughs> This is kind of kind of big, even for Barbie. Okay, how about this? So Barbie has this giant bedroom. There's another bedroom here. And that bedroom also has an ensuite, but it's tiny. It's just this little tiny room right here. But they have a big walk-in closet. So in the end, there's two bathrooms upstairs. One of them is small, one of them is huge. This is Barbie's bedroom and her walk-in closet. This is the second bedroom and their walk-in closet. We have a nice hallway. And then that's the whole downstairs. Okay, two bedrooms, three bathrooms. I'm gonna put some of these pretty columns inside the house. The pink staircase really is quite something, isn't it? Is there a pink marble that matches or no? <gasps> oh my God, there is. What if we did a checkerboard of pink and white marble? Look, I know it's ridiculous, but it's also Barbie. So come on, pink and white checkered marble in the entry. That's perfect. Everything is going to be pink, okay? Everything. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit excessive, I'm warning you. I have this urge to use this fuzzy pink carpet in her bedroom, but I know I shouldn't. Maybe I could do it in the closet instead. That would be so cozy though, to have that fuzzy pink carpet. There is pink 
pink mirrored celebrity closet pieces from Get Famous. So obviously I'm gonna be using those. You know how those YouTubers have like a counter in the middle of their fancy closets like this? I've seen a million YouTube house tours where they have this kind of thing. I don't really know what it's for, like folding laundry or something, laying out your clothes. Sometimes it's got like a glass top and you have your jewelry laid out in the middle of it. So maybe I'll try and do that. Here, she can have her nail polish or like Barbie's perfumes. She's picking one, so they're out on the counter. I'm sort of struggling to decide how much clutter Barbie would have in her house because I feel like on one hand, she's a doll, so she's got lots of accessories, but also she's very fancy. So her house is probably very pristine and very clean. I put some random furniture in the hallway. I'm not really that concerned with how the hallway looks. I just, I never care about them. I did put a fancy table in the middle of the room, like some of those rich people have in their entryways. I think this is the whole upstairs done. I didn't really decorate it that detailed. I was more concerned about the exterior of this house, to be honest. So Barbie has a very fancy gold and pink bed. She's got a vanity. And then in her guest room, there's just a bed and like a seating area, basically. Downstairs, We've got a lot of work to do. That's red and not pink, but can I pretend? Or she could have a pink laptop. Never mind. Let's use that. I think obviously she has the most expensive fridge and stove. I never use these. They come in pink. I just don't know if it's too much. Although I have a glowing pink pool. Nothing is too much. Do you think Barbie has paper towels? This is an honest question. Actually, she would not have them on the counter. She probably has like a paper towel cabinet, you know? Like they're hidden. I feel like in a house like this, they don't keep anything on the counter. They've got a place for everything probably. In real life, they'd have a fancy built-in microwave too. We just can't do that in The Sims. They've really stepped up their game with the pink swatches. Even that new like coffee table thing from the book nook kit got a pink swatch. Okay, I think this is the full layout of the kitchen living dining space over in this side. I like how the dining table is centered with the whole space and there's kind of like a separate cozy nook for the living room. I didn't put any curtains in any of the bathrooms anywhere and I suppose I probably should have considering all of the bathrooms are in the front of the house, but it's okay. It's the Sims doesn't matter. I almost don't want to put a rug on the tile because I don't want to distract from it because I think it's so pretty. But we probably should have some sort of rug in here. It helps to center the room at least. I don't think we should put that much furniture in here though because you want it to have a clear walking space to get into the rest of the house. So maybe everything's done. To refresh your memory, the house that we were trying to build was this one. And I think that we did a pretty good job. Obviously we only had this one image to go off of. The rest was kind of just imagined, but I think it was pretty fun to build. I honestly like to try to build some of the other Barbie dream houses. I don't really care about furnishing them that much. I just think it's fun to try and recreate the exteriors of them. Some of these houses are actually really, really interesting. So it might be kind of fun to do something like this. Although this has some curved walls, which is kind of a curse. I'm gonna stick it on the gallery in case you want to download it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I love doing this kind of thing. I'm so excited for the Barbie movie. You have no idea. And I'm not kidding, Barbie, if you see this, just um, just let me know. Literal dream sponsorship, I think, is Barbie. And I'm not exaggerating. This video is not sponsored, though. This is just fun. Anyway, my head is kind of killing me, so I don't really want to look at my screen any longer. I'm sorry if the furnishing seemed rushed. It was. It was, because I don't feel good. But hopefully you liked the video anyway, and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay? Bye, everybody. I'm really curious. I'm gonna link the BuzzFeed article down below. Which one of those houses do you all think is your favorite? Cause I don't think this Georgia one is my favorite, but I think it was the most fun for me to build in The Sims. There are others that I like better. So which ones do you like?